uh, what Baba has given me is awareness of spirituality. I don't refer to material objects she has given, like the ring, like the watches, vibhuti, that's all the material things. I am not referring to that. I am referring to the spiritual insight and the spiritual awareness he has given me. Complete, total understanding beyond any doubt, beyond any doubt, Baba has given me that. Spiritual awareness, spiritual insight. Am I clear? Am I clear? And two, that which will never go, which is which stayed with permanent, permanently with me, is this. That is omniscient, that is omnipresent, that he decides my programs, that he decides whatever I do. That is he who speaks through me. That is what, how I feel. You understand it? You understand it? You, all of you understood? Am I clear? Yes. If you have any doubt further, further on this. Yes. Nana, Ray, Oh, Nuba, Babu. Specs at a bit and soon, Nana. Ah, yes. Ah. Yes, any more? Is that all you ask? Question? Anything I left? No, you understood clearly? Mm -hmm. yeah. How about you? Then? No questions? Yes, yes. Which one is uh, the best memories of Swami that uh, you have? Which one is of the best memory of all the experiences you have? Is that what you said? Yes. Very good. <laughs> you see sunrise every day. So beautiful. You see sunset every day. So wonderful. You see the blossoming flower. You my grandson. You see the blossoming flower. So beautiful. You feel you see the face of a smiling baby child. So beautiful. Which one is best? Shall I say sunrise in June? First is the best. Can I say? Sunset July 20th is best. Can I say? Rose flower blossoming in May is wonderful. Can I say that? In other words, every day is special. Every moment is special. Every experience is special. Every experience is memorable. To meet you yesterday, is an experience memorable to meet all of you today is an experience memorable can i say all of them are not worth remembering and this is memorable how can i say every incident is memorable am i here? simple example when i wear the glasses green glasses everything looks green Red glasses, everything looks red. Clear? Similarly, when you wear the mystery, the glasses of mystery, you see the whole thing as divine sport, divine leela. Whole thing is divinity. If you have the glasses of awareness, if you have the glasses of love, if you have the glasses of divinity, You'll find everything is so beautiful. Without that, everything is dry. Clear? I had many, many experiences. Of all these experiences, the experiences that I have to go to the experience self. Experience is different from experience self. I am wearing these glasses. I am different from glasses. Right? This is my house. I am different from house. Similarly, I am different from my experience. 
then who is experiencing the spirit our consciousness our awareness our the self our the soul that is experiencing so these experiences should take you to experience self that is the purpose my dear you understand me suppose if these experiences don't take us to experience self experiences are experiences have not served the purpose simple example you may eat anything but your hunger should be satiated your appetite should be satisfied therefore experiences should direct you to the experiencer that is the purpose of the experiences understood because experiences are many experience in in italy is different from experiences in hungary it is different from holland the netherlands is different from denmark experiences are many but you are experiencing you are same you are same experiencer is same experiences are many so many experiences should make you know the experience of that is the purpose you understood you got it you got it sir but you want some stories right <laughs> yeah ah, good so good this is baba said at one time from primary level to go to the secondary education from secondary education we go to the college level from college level we go to the university level the stories all small small experiences these are only school and college but university education is to know the experience we am i we am i who is experiencing who is seeing who is listening who is understanding who is eating simple example we think that your eye see eye see eye is see correct correct or wrong i is a c correct or not ha huh? what is it i is a c correct 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 yeah it's not correct why because blind people have eyes but they cannot see do you think ears here ears here no deaf people have bigger ears they cannot hear do you think skin will feel the sense of touch no paralysis fellow has no sense of touch paralysis therefore the hearer the seer the thinker is one the self the supreme consciousness how electricity is here the electricity in the fan will revolve and give you the breeze that electricity in a washing machine will wash all things electricity in a uh, in a heater it heats in fridge it keeps things cold quite cold right so electricity is same clear so when i say electricity is breeze it is heat also so i see it and breathe no it is sound in a mic also so this electricity which is one and the same is the experience sarum you understand me and all other things are experiences electricity is same experiences are different if you know the electricity everything else is known everything else is known Got my point? Yes. So you 
बट में कोई नहीं आओ जी आओ जी आओ जी आओ जी प्लीज प्लीज आज हाउ यू सर हाउ आर यू आई आई एम टिवो मशीन आई एम कंसेंट्रेट ऑन ऑन जस्ट फिल्मिंग इट इज लाइक concentrating on the experiences yes but not the hard experiences okay but you do your job because that home is for that many people thank you very much uh, yes any close your eyes close your eyes empty the mind think of this form and repeat his name and i will increase that process will experience and i feel right so there is not uh, one only form there is not one only place for god everybody can find it you are 100% correct you are 100% correct why why we are many what your name sundar not sachin no sachin not shivam who oh, is sundar your name शक्ति शक्ति Do we breathe carbon dioxide? Do we breathe nitrogen? Breath is one. Body is many. Breath is one. Can stand by? Ah, breath is one. Life is one. Bulbs may be many, but current is one. So we should think of that oneness we experience in, not multiplicity. Not varied, not different. We should know that unity is divinity. Unity is divinity. Sugar is one unity. Sweets are many divine. Unity in diversity. The whole world is diversified, but there is unity of divinity. Italy. India countries are different, but the earth is same, sky is same, right? Am I not right? So you may be anywhere, you may be anywhere, you may be anything, man or woman, engineer or doctor, sharp, tall, whatever may be. That single current of life, divinity, is one and the same. You understand that? to know that and experience is what we should do am i clear that's why the bible says the kingdom of heaven is within you kingdom of heaven is within you not up not a down you could say hell is below heaven is up no are you in between it is within you when you are happy it is heaven When you go on crying, it is hell. Right? Heaven and hell are here only; they are not separate worlds. Good, good. Puoi tradurre una domanda? Adesso che il Papa è morto, perché bisognerebbe continuare a venire qua tutta parte? Now that Papa Alan is not anymore, it is a physical form. Why? Good. Good. When current is everywhere, why do you need a switch? Why do you need a main switch? Why? Current is everywhere. When air is everywhere, why do you need a fan? It means you feel more connected at one place. 
when you go to church and sit, the vibrations, that atmosphere, that piano, oh God, oh God, la 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 la, and the God singing and playing on piano, in that holy atmosphere of church, you feel vibrations, don't you think so? As you sing carols, as you sing hymns, you feel the vibration. Similarly, you come to Uttabhakti or you go to church, anywhere, you feel that surroundings, the atmosphere, the company will help you to experience easily, better. God bless you. Yoga, people think, is physical exercise. One, two, three, half, half. That is not physical exercise, but the body. Yoga, they think, breathing exercise. Breathing exercise to calm the mind, to quieten the mind. To make the mind peaceful, we in breathing exercise. Physical exercise to make the body strong. Right? That is not only yoga. There is something more. The meaning of the word yoga is that which connects you to God. That which connects you to God. Connects links. So that which connects you to God is yoga. By praying if you are connected to Him, it is yoga. By reading the scriptures, you are connected to Him, it is yoga. By doing violence, we are connected, it is yoga. Yoga means that which connects you to God. Am I clear? One is for physical strength, one is for mental peace. Tante tecniche. Eh, secondo Anil Kumar, qual è la meditazione più, più essenziale per eh, entrare in contatto con, con il sé, con Dio? Anything that you do, totally, totally, is meditation. Simple, you are walking in the morning, jogging, morning walk. If you walk consciously, mindfully, not thinking of the office, not thinking of the family, enjoy your walk, totally, completely, mindfully, walking is meditation. When you do bhajans, get yourself totally lost, mind completely on bhajans, not of Italy, no, no. Totally in bhajans, that is meditation. So anything that you do with the totality, completely identified, mindfully, reading, talking, driving, eating, everything is meditation. Not sitting like that, not me and everything like it. We do it mindfully and totally. Got the point? Thank you. The mind thinks I am doing. It's the mind that makes you feel that you are doing. But if you just go above the mind, Above the mind, you know that God is doing, not you are doing. 